Hi everyone, I want to welcome you and invite you in to get started with the next summer season pattern. This one is the Prunus Square. So let me make sure I've got to turn the right way around here. Here we go. It is a square and it started from the middle out. So you've got a little few stitches that you begin with where you can do a couple of different types of cast on. Um, the more straightforward one is probably the I-core cast on where you just begin an I-core cast on with waist yarn and then you begin working with the working yarn. Unpick the I-core cast on and then you can just draw a string through those stitches and tighten it up. Or an uh, interesting cast on that I actually really quite like but don't use an awful lot is the, the pinhole cast on where loop of yarn, you crochet around it to create the stitches and then when you come back you can just tighten the string and tighten it up. So I would suggest giving it a shot if you find it a little tricky, come back and do the I-core cast on which is very straightforward. Then from that point you are just working in spiral lace going out. It's spiral because you've got increases every round in four locations. If I hold it up here can you see there's one, two, three, four little segments and you've got increases in each of those as you're going around which creates a spiral and then the actual lace that you're working very simple repeat that as soon as you've got enough stitches for the next repeat you just begin working that so it forms a really kind of steady easy rhythm to learn as you go along then you work out till you've reached the size you want and i finished it off with garter stitch edging and pico bind off benefit of the pico bind off is that it adds a really nice decorative edge and it's also very stretchy so you're not going to have a danger of the cast off being too tight so it's definitely got advantages having something nice and loose at the edge in terms of how you use it if you've got a little bistro table it makes a really really pretty tablecloth to use or you will find in your kit i can find it here a little button that i've sewn in on one side folded this in half and then you can wrap it around like this pick the uh, yarn over that you want to use to tie it in with and create a really nice neckerchief to be worn like this so it's it's very attractive way of wearing it in the evening adds a little extra warmth one other thing that i have sh haven't shown is that you could even use it as a headscarf where you put it on tight around like this I don't tend to wear a lot of headscarves, but if you do, it would make an excellent headscarf because it's a nice length or even just to wear it wrapped around and tucked in. So it's just, it's a lovely color, lovely feel, a nice weight and a fun pattern to work with. And then you can have fun deciding how you want to wear it. So come on in and join me for the Prunus Square.